Look, there he is. He's cleaning up the yard. It is so hot outside. What are you doing? Why are you mopping? Start mopping. It is getting every single thing. That is so gross. <laughs> this is seriously like a cup, cup and a half full of dead bugs. <laughs> What's up guys? The girls have been back to school full time now for like two or three weeks. I think two weeks now. And so we finally have decided that we have more time throughout the day. And it's time to clean our house. We always have boxes laying around everywhere. Stuff on the stairs, stuff on the floor. Most stuff we clean up, you know, throughout the day. But we have a lot of stuff that needs to uh, hold on. Another box. Mom over here doing laundry. This kid. What just happened to this kid? Took a nosedive off of the couch. Did you just take a nosedive? You wanna say hi? Here, here look. You wanna see the camera? Look. Now he's a little embarrassed. Bud, it's you see? Okay. You see the baby in there? Yeah. Say, oh no. Oh, tell him what you're wearing today. Did you got, oh, is that Baby Yoda? President say Baby Yoda? Say baby? Okay. Anyway, so I think that's our plan for today is we're gonna clean up all this stuff and I have to clean up the garage and the pool's nasty. We've had so many mosquitoes like, I'll show you guys here in a bit, but it's basically just covered with dead mosquitoes all over. So we can't go swimming in that because you'd like get up and be like covered. It's nasty. All right, let's clean. All right, so part of our spring cleaning also includes cleaning out the pet's cages. And this guy, hey buddy, it's okay, don't be scared. This guy needs his water cleaned out. I changed it just yesterday, so it looks like he used it as a restroom. And he needs clean food, and it's time to change out the bark in his tank. So, hi! So that's what I'm gonna work on next. You wanna say hi to Sammy? I got him some food ready, I just need to put it in here. All right, so I'm letting the turtle's um, food and water dish soak for a little bit. <laughs> but I've got laundry put away, and it looks like John's outside taking care of the pool. Hey! Hey! Do you wanna go swimming today? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Is Eddie cleaning the pool? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Say clean. 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 Look, there he is. He's cleaning up the yard. I think we also have a gardener coming today, so we gotta get everything put away. Woo! There he goes, Preston. The girls like to leave a lot of their shoes and jump ropes and things laying out on the grass. Oh, and gardener just showed up, so perfect timing. And of course, we've got more laundry going, piles and piles. Laundry is never ending in this house, but uh, let's go finish cleaning out the tank. All right guys, so I'm working on cleaning up the outside and all this stuff today, but I got an awesome idea. I think I'm just gonna get a lot of help. You can see, my gardener just showed up. So he's gonna be taking care of mostly outside for me. I did get everything picked up off the grass, so that'll be good. I just have to clean the garage, and then I have a couple other things that I'm gonna do to help clean up the rest of the house and the yard today. So I'll show you guys that here in a bit too, but I gotta start putting some stuff here away. All right, you guys, so I finally got a little bit ready for the day. I didn't get all the way ready because we do plan to get in the pool later and go swimming, but this guy has a clean tank other than, I noticed, he just got a little dirty in his uh, food dish. Oh no! Oh no, he's stuck. Here, can you help? There you go. Show him what you can do. Kitty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so hot outside. Hopefully Cassie's getting something done here. <sighs> let's, uh, let's drop that temperature a little bit. Looks like uh, not too much is happening here. Babe, what are you doing? Back to me. Why? What about all this? Like, all right guys, vacuuming helps, but like seriously, when you're trying to clean house, you gotta clean other stuff, like the big stuff. Look, I can't even see any crumbs except for like that crumb and that crumb. But there's nothing hardly on the floor. We need big stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, big stuff. Big stuff. Okay. Mom, well, someone needs to vacuum. Mom, okay, I'll vacuum. Mom, you get the big stuff. Mom, Take that big baby. Mom. Hey, do a big baby. Mom, mom. Hey. What? Mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going back outside. Get the big stuff. I'll vacuum the floors. I'll vacuum. All right guys, so I finally got the island cleaned off. So all the big stuff, but now I think I'm gonna go ahead and mop the floors. All right guys, had to come in and grab the camera. Now I gotta go outside and show you guys what I've done in the garage. I basically tried to sort, babe, what are you doing? Uh, what does it look like, I'm mopping. Why are you mopping? There is tons of stuff. There's boxes sitting over here. Is there a freaking footprint 
<laughs> Babe, we gotta get the big stuff cleaned up first, and then we can worry about this little stuff. Fine, I'll get the big stuff. Who's gonna mop? You? Yes, I will mop, I will sweep, I'll do all that little stuff. You just get the big stuff, because I gotta go show them what I've done in the garage. Okay, guys, let's go to the garage. Alright, guys, so, uh, I was actually sent a really cool vacuum mop thing. Um, so you guys know we have these, right? But, the problem with that is it basically drags a wet rag around. And right here, in this box, we've got this one. It's the narwhal. Um, let me see if I can see it. Okay, I'll get it out. But basically, it actually mops the floor instead of dragging a wet rag around. And it can vacuum. So I'm gonna set this up. And I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to be the one vacuuming and mopping the floors while I'm also finishing up the garage. And then another thing I'm gonna clean is the pool. Check this out. I don't know if you guys can see, but all over the top of the pool, there's all this nasty stuff, dead bugs. Anyways, just like the vacuum inside, I have a dude that's gonna help me clean outside. And that is in here. I haven't even tried it out yet, so I'm gonna go throw that thing in the pool and see what happens. So I've got the narwhal out. It's charging right now. Um, it comes with the sweeping pads and also these mopping pads. I've got extra pads of everything. And then right now, I'm gonna have it do a map. Let's see here. Long press to create a map. All right. Ooh. All right, here we go. All right, now this should create a map and it's linked to my phone. So we're gonna map this thing out and see what it looks like. Start mapping. Please clear obstacles on the floor and keep doors open. The robot is moving backwards. Please clear Ooh. the space behind. All right, all right guys, here goes the map. You guys, I wanted to give you a quick update on the map. So this is our house. Um, so over here is the living room. And right now he's cruising around. That's the dock, is that orange spot. And right now that white spot is where it is mapping. Um, I did close off the game room down here. So almost done. And then we can go ahead and have it mop the floors. All right guys, so here's the garage. I've got all of the electric bikes and scooters, everything over here, Trins motorcycle, Preston's Lamborghini. Or bikes, scooters, bike, and then my new scooter's over there. I didn't set that one up with the wall by all the other ones because I usually keep that one out because that's the one that I'm riding now. All the chairs and stuff hung up and then I have some random crap I don't know what to do with yet. Except that spaceship we're gonna use on Madison's channel probably in the next couple weeks. But let me take you guys back inside, see what the map looks like, and then turn it into a mop. All right guys, got everything swept. Now I'm gonna use the mop and check this out. So in here, this thing cleans everything for you. So I just filled this up with water. Look at that, that thing is huge. And then it'll make everything dirty, so we'll see what we get out of that. Now this is what the last one had in it. That's all the water you get, and then you're dirty. So this one, if it runs out of water on the mopping pads, will come back and fill up with water while it gets rid of the waste. Which is awesome, because our house is big, and it would never finish. We always had to like stop it part way through, fill it up, and even then, it would like leave just streaks, like it wouldn't actually get the whole floor, but the spins, so it should be way better. So we'll see after it's done mopping. Start mopping. All right, it's filling up with water. All right guys, you see this trail? Our last one would not do that. It would leave streaks, like it would not mop the whole thing. This is already looking very promising but we'll see how it does. All right guys, here's a quick update of the Narwhal mopping the floors. Look at that. It is getting every single thing. This is awesome. All right guys, so it's done mopping everything and I wanted to show you the water that I got. All right, so open this up. So we got a pretty big house and it used, what, probably two thirds of it? But look at the wastewater. Blech. That is so gross. That is what came off our floors. That is so nasty. So at least we know that it does have enough water to do the entire floor once. And a second time we would probably need to refill it a little bit. Um, but if we only want to do a section like the back hallway where people are always walking around, that one we can probably do multiple times and that's usually what we have done most of the time. Oh, and I also mentioned that our pool was nasty. So let me take you outside and show you that. All right guys, so here is my outside cleaner. It's been cleaning. As you can see, the water looks way better. Let me pull that out of the water and show you guys what it collected. All right, guys. Well, this has been running all day. Ugh. All right, babe. This is what we would have been swimming in. Let's see here. Eww. 
Just kidding. I'm not touching that. You guys, this is seriously like a cup, cup and a half full of dead bugs. Yeah. This is gross. That's what was on the water before I ran this thing. This is disgusting. All right guys, so now that our pool is clean, we can finally get in the water and go swimming. So, everything got cleaned up today and we get to have fun in the pool. But it's really cold, so we'll see who swims. Guys, dude, look, he's coming to clean. He's coming to clean. Oh, what do you think of the waters? Wow. All right, so Trinity hopped in the pool, but it ended up being a little too cold for her, so she's over here jumping on the trampoline. Trin, okay. what do you think of the water? Wet. Cold. Half of my wet. Oh, okay. And then we've got Dad over here. He decided to go ahead and hop in and clean off the side of the pool. Or the pool guy can't reach unless he gets wet. Daddy! Yeah! Hi! Do you see Daddy? Say hi, Dad! Hi! Hi, Daddy! Say hi! Say, how's the water? Hi, buddy! You going to get back in? This little dude's gotten into up to about his, his waist. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold, Dad! Yeah, huh? He's dashing in the waters. Whoa! <laughs> this kid's loving it. Good boy. All right, guys, so I just wanted to bring you up to the balcony real quick to show you what else we got done. Our gardener did go ahead and trim our palm trees for us, so we no longer have any dead branches hanging. The one dude's cruising around in the pool right there still, keeping that nice and clean for us. Uh, but that's it for today. We got the floors clean, we got the pool clean. I finally got the garage all situated and Cassie got most of the house cleaned up. So anyways guys, thanks a ton for watching. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you guys next time.